Hello everyone, this is a short video for those of you who are having problems importing the DJI Mini 4 D-Log M to Rec 709 LUT. Once you download the file, notice that this is a .cube file. It is very possible that your Macintosh is not set to open a cube file. In other words, it doesn't know what application to use to open a .cube file. So you have to manually set that yourself. So once you've downloaded the the LUT file, which is a .cube file, and in my case, it's in the uh, download folder. I'm going to drag my download folder over onto the screen so you can see it. Now, this is how you manually set CapCut to open a cube file. Right click on that cube file and select open with. And if you don't see CapCut listed here, and most likely you won't see it, come down to other. Then you'll see CapCut over here in your Applications file. So make sure that Applications is selected here, but the CapCut is grayed out, so I can't select it. So let's uh, get that ungrayed out. So you've come down to Enable here and pull down this menu and select All Applications. And now CapCut is ungrayed out. Select it, click on it once, then click on the Always Open With, then select open and that should invoke your CapCut application. So that LUT file should be installed on CapCut. So I'm going to open up an existing project and I'm going to go to adjustments, select LUT and let's see if it's in here. There it is. Now to prove to you that I should be able to import that file into CapCut. I'm going to delete this file. Then I'm going to select the import button, navigate to the location of that uh, DJI file, it's a cube file, it's selected, then click open. And there it is. So for those of you who are having problems with that LUT file is most likely because your Macintosh was not set. It did not know what application to use to open a .cube file. And if I want to apply this LUT to this video down here on the timeline, I would simply take and I can drag it here and scroll over that entire video and that LUT will be applied. There's another way of doing it. So if I were to delete that file. I could select the video and come over to adjustments over here and then under LUT here just pull this down and select that LUT file which is here and it's automatically going to be applied to the entire video file. So I hope this will help those of you who have been having issues getting the uh, cube file imported into CapCut. This is Ron from Ron's World. Thanks for watching.